In today's Psy Operative training mission, we will be using jumping jacks to better understand the relationship between energy, frequency, and amplitude of a wave. First, let's see how many full jumping jacks you can do in 15 seconds. Ready? Go! Record how many you did. Let's try it again. But this time, only move your arms halfway up and down. We will call these half jumping jacks. Ready? Go! Record how many you did. Were you able to do more or less this time? Most of you probably recorded more jumping jacks the second time around. Let's explore why that is. You effectively changed the amplitude of the wave. The amplitude is the distance from the crest of a wave to the equilibrium line. The equilibrium line is the middle line of a wave or the resting line and is used to measure the amplitude of a wave. With jumping jacks, we can use the size of the movement of your arms to represent amplitude. Smaller amplitudes, like half jumping jacks, take less energy to generate than larger amplitudes, like full jumping jacks. Let's try doing full jumping jacks again, but this time at different frequencies. When discussing waves, frequency is the number of complete wave cycles, crest to crest, per second. In this analogy, the frequency will be the number of full jumping jacks completed. Join Aki in performing jumping jacks. Now join Nicole. <whistles> Which speed made you more tired? There is a direct correlation between the energy of a wave and its frequency. The greater the frequency, the more energy required. Let's look at a real life example. For light waves, a greater amplitude results in a brighter light. There is also a direct relationship between frequency and energy. A wave with a higher frequency will have more energy compared to a wave with a lower frequency. Human eyes can only see light waves within a very small frequency range. There is a large range of non-visible light waves that make up the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Training mission complete! Don't forget to fill out your mission log. <laughs>